tea and coffee are one of the world's most beloved beverages. There are many people, including me, says that I cannot make throughout the day without at least a cup of coffee. Today's video is all about which is better among tea and coffee. Hi, this is Renu. Welcome to Take It Easy. Tea and coffee, which is better? Both coffee and tea has its own health benefits. There are various varieties of beverages available in market such as black tea, green tea, white tea, coffee, green coffee and so many. It's not only delicious, it's a constant agent of calm. It also linked to numerous health benefits including reduced inflammation and lower risk of chronic diseases such as cancer, obesity, diabetes and heart diseases. Tea has found to be very beneficial for improvement in liver related diseases. Nowadays, the most consuming tea varieties are black tea and green tea. Both green and black tea are processed differently. Black tea, it is most oxidized which undergoes highest level of oxidation giving it a darker appearance. Green tea is not at all oxidized hence it has a green appearance. As it is not oxidized, green tea consists of highest level of antioxidants. Antioxidants reduces the free radicals in the body and increases the immunity power. It also contains the compound called ECGC, which is more beneficial to our body. It contains very less amount of caffeine in it comparing to black tea. Green tea improves brain function. Green tea boosts the metabolic rate and is responsible for burning fat from the body. Coming to coffee, it also plays the similar role. Lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes, it stimulates the hormones involved in metabolism. It keeps blood vessels flexible and healthy. It lowers the risk of heart attacks. It lowers the risk of liver cancer. Do you know one more interesting fact that coffee also constricts the blood vessels in the brain. Thus, it is used in the medication of migraine. People who habitually drink coffee in the morning may develop a headache if they miss their morning coffee. Well, though moderate coffee and tea consumption like 1-2 to two cups is a very healthy choice for most people. Having said that, exceeding 3-4 to four cups per day could have huge negative side effects on our body. Tea is a rich source of compound called tannins. Research suggests that tannins are more likely to hinder the absorption of iron. If you have iron deficiency, you should reduce the intake of tea. You may feel poor sleep because tea and coffee naturally contains caffeine. Excessive intake may disrupt your sleep cycle. Inadequate sleep is linked to a variety of mental issues including fatigue, impaired memory and reduced attention span. Chronic sleep deprivation is associated with an increased risk of obesity and poor blood sugar control. Excessive intake of tea may lead to feelings of anxiety, stress, restless and nervous. Those who drink more coffee during pregnancy are likely to find their babies to be nervous and restless. It may lead to risk of complications such as miscarriage and low infant birth weight. Per day, 1-2 to two cups of coffee or tea is acceptable. Intermittent caffeine intake may help relieve certain types of headaches. Having said that, routinely consuming excessive amount of caffeine from tea could contribute to chronic headaches. People having too much coffee may become dependent on caffeine like drug addicts. Even small amounts of regular tea intake could contribute to caffeine dependence. Withdrawal symptoms include fatigue, irritability, and headaches. People who habitually drink coffee in the morning may develop headache if they miss their morning coffee. Even green tea has side effect. If you consume in large quantity, you may feel stomach upset. If you notice your tea habit is making you feel jittery or nervous, it could be a sign you have had too much and may want to cut back from your tea and coffee. So, the conclusion is, 
the benefits of a tea and coffee both are similar. Comparatively, coffee contains more caffeine which can cause stomach upset to ulcer if you have it in large quantity. But tea is gentler to your stomach only if you consume in moderate amount. If you are addicted to intake of a coffee and tea, you have many options to avoid it. You can replace it with a lemon tea, honey tea, ginger tea or chocolate which serves you with the same relaxing benefits. Having honey tea in morning may help you to decrease obesity. You also have the option to drink caffeine free herbal teas in place of regular tea to avoid caffeine exposure. They are made up of dried flowers, leaves, seeds or roots that are generally caffeine free. If you feel the video is helpful, let me know by hitting like button and do not forget to subscribe. See you in next video. Bye.